Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the top three God tier bleed weapons. And also, these are going to be the best bleed build weapons that you are going to need in Elden Ring to be able to destroy any boss and any foe. So if you like how that sounds, a like is much appreciated. So welcome back to the channel, guys. These three weapons are going to be the top three God tier bleed weapons that you guys must have in the game. This is going not only going to make your game a lot easier, but also is going to make it a lot more fun. You're, you could use this ones at level 100, level 150. So let's get started with the first weapon and it's going to be none other than the Eleonora's Pole Blade. Why is this a God tier weapon? Not only because it hits with three damage status. One is going to be physical damage. Two is going to be fire damage. And three is going to be the passive effect which causes blood loss buildup at 78. Now, on top of this, it also requires three attributes which are strength dexterity and arcane and if you see that arcane and dexterity are one to one dexterity being the best arcane being the second and strength is being number three so today we are going to be taking advantage of all those three different things in those two different categories making this a hell of a god tier bleed weapon that you guys must have in your inventory so let me show you how to put this together one you're going to be using the white mask this is a must for any bleed build that you are putting together if you guys don't know where to get this exactly check out the description i have the link there it's pretty much how to get the white mask next is going to be you guys are going to be using the raptor's black feather the reason why is because this one if you guys take a look at the um special skills it does say it strengthens jumps attacks and you know with the eleanor's pole blade this thing you are going to be jumping a lot you're going to be doing jumping atta attacks now how do we increment the power within this weapon one we are going to be using the fire scorpion because we are going to be taking an advantage on one of the status which is fire two we are going to be taking advantage of the char of alexander which is going to greatly boost the attack power of my skills which is within this weapon and as you guys see the skill of this weapon is going to be a blood blade dance it's just going to dance and it's going to pretty much deal a lot of damage and next we are going to be using the rotten wing sword insignia because this one is going to greatly raise attack power with successive attacks and that is what the eleanor's pole blade does it just does damage over time because it just keeps hitting and hitting and then we are going to be taking advantage of the number three status which is going to be blood so we got blood which is going to take advantage of the uh, mass itself with this, with the white mass. And then on top of this, the weapon, which causes the passive effect of blood loss build up at 78. So if you guys see, put all of that together, you are, guys are going to be having a God tier build and we are going to raise it up a little bit. And we are going to be using two things in our flask of wondrous physics. One is going to be the flame shrouding crack tier, which is going to temporarily boost our fire attacks. And two, I'm going to be using my dexterity, not crystal tier, temporarily boosting my dexterity. And as you guys see, my character status is at 150, leveled, vigor 30, mind 30, endurance 24, strength 30, dexterity 41, eight on intelligence, faith 16, and arcane is going to be at 50. Now, the reason why we got Arcane, number two, Dexterity, and number three, Strength. If you guys see that, in our weapon itself, we go back to it, we are going to be taking advantage of those three requirements. And within our flask, we are going to be raising our Dexterity because it's our number one, and we need to have the pole blade be as fast and as deadly as it can be. Now, where can you get this? weapon well you're going to be need to complete the bloody finger hunter quest line which you will find the link in the description now let me put this to demonstration the thing i love about this weapon is not only does it take like uses the strength 
blood and also fire. But what I like about the skill in this pole blade weapon is because it does one attack and then it comes back and it just builds space between you and your opponent, which gives you guys the chance to pretty much just keep spamming to at your boss. Any foe and any boss will be in a dangerous situation against you guys with this fantastic pole blade god tier bleed weapon. Now, let's take a look at number two. And the number two is going to be the Rivers of Blood. Not the number one bleed weapon, the number two bleed weapon. And later on, I'm going to be showing you guys next what is number one. But the Rivers of Blood, trust me, guys, it doesn't, doesn't stay behind. If you guys want to know how this weapon is put together in a god tier bleed build, check out the link, which was going to be actually is going to be on the pin comment. So check out that comment and you guys will see the link to that video so why is this such a god tier weapon especially for bleed one just like the pole blade is gonna hit with physical fire and also the passive effect which is going to cause blood loss buildup at 73 so you have three different status and then on top of this attributes required are going to be arcane dexterity and strength Overall, you guys see what I'm seeing there is just going to be pretty much madness. Madness against any foe, against any boss in Elden Ring. So how do you get the Rivers of Blood? Well, pull up your map and we are going to be going all the way up here to the Church of Repose. Once you come through around this section, which is going to pretty much go through this bridge, go around and come this way. You are going to be facing a foe who has the uh, Rivers of Blood who is going to drop it as soon as you defeat them. Now, my character status, level 150 is going to be 30-30 on Vigor Endurance. Mine is uh, Endurance is going to be 24, Strength at 30, Dexterity at 41, Intelligence at 8, and Faith at 16, Arcane at 50. Now, like I said, guys, if you guys want to see this put together in a god tier bleed bill, the number one bleed bill, take a look at the description. The link is there. And the number one god tier bleed weapon is going to be none other than, of course, Modwin's Sacred Spear. This weapon is OP for a different things. One of them, let's take a look at the um, status really quick, is going to hit with physical fire and of course with the passive effect which is going to cause blood loss buildup of 86 and on top of this attributes require arcane 27 strength 24 and dexterity at 14. as you guys see there we got three different status and that is what is going to make a god tier weapon because you guys are using pretty much three different status in two different categories and what makes this the number one weapon, like I said before, is going to be the skill itself. And if we take a look at it, it says the unique skill is Blood Boom Ritual. It's pretty much all you're doing is raising your spear and each time you stab a foe or a boss. And just take a look how easy, easy you are able to take down Melina with this weapon, putting it together with a god tier weapon is going to pretty much destroy anyone, anyone in Elden Ring. No boss, no foe is going to get close to you because this weapon is that strong. So as you guys see there, that is the ritual that it does. Three stabs and then the last one, it's a little bit longer, which is going to destroy anyone. Very easy, very fast, up to 12,000 damage, even more. If you guys want to see this weapon in action, I also have a bleed god tier weapon for this one that you can guys can take a look and it's going to be in the description. You can find the link. Now, on top of this, what makes this weapon fun is that when you're running and you're hitting your strong attack, you see that it has that little burst at the end. And then you got your light attack and you got your hard attack. And of course, you have the special attack 
which is going to stab any foe in Elden Ring three times and pretty much with the full optimization that we have here, which is going to be with the white mask the raptor's black feather and then on top of this we are going to be taking advantage of the fire that is within that weapon and we are going to be raising our power skills with the shard of alexander and we are all going to be using the ritual sword talisman because the great thing about this weapon is that you are going to be at full health i would have to say 80 percent of your time and you are going to be dealing, dealing, <clears throat> and you guys are going to be dealing maximum damage because you are going to be keeping your HP up. And with the Ritual Sword Talisman, you are going to be deadly. And then on top of this, we are going to be using the Lord's Blood Exaltation. And with that, guys, we take care of the three different status, physical, fire, and blood and then on top of this we are going to throw into the flask of wondrous physics one is going to be the flame shrouding crack tier which is going to boost our fire attacks and we are going to raise our dexterity with the dexterity not crystal tier which is going to boost it to about 10 points which is going to make it overall a god tier weapon so let me know in the comment section below if you guys have these weapons. Two, if you have them, try this three different builds. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. You will be a god among Elden Ring. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. Also, don't forget to hit that like. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscription button? We got more videos coming up for you and a lot more in the gaming world. Once again... I'll see you on the next one.